The Canadian Parrot Conference is happening the weekend of November 12th and 13th in Guelph. And joining us to tell us more is Susan Payne, our Susan Payne and uh, Connie Desinskas, along with several parrots. Thanks very much for joining us, Susan and Connie. Glad to be here. Thank All right, you. and I've got uh, who is who's Tico? this? Tico. Quaker parrot. And why don't you introduce us first to uh, to these parrots in front of you? And what type are they? I have uh, Kasuku is a Timney African Grey on my hand. Uh, Jivu is a Congo African Grey, and Mercedes a Quaker parrot and Arwen a Green Cheek Conyer. Okay, well, welcome to them. And who do you have beside you there, Connie? This is Harry, and he's a green wing macaw, also called a red and green macaw. All right, he's looking away from you there. He's checking out all the lights <laughs> and the snakes above, above him. Oh, snakes! Yes. Oh boy! Yeah. yeah. I wasn't aware we had snakes in the yeah. studios, I but think, I think we'll, you deal, might. we'll deal with that later. Uh, we've had snakes here before, believe it or not. Uh, okay, so talk about this conference. Uh, it's it's a big opportunity for people who have passion about these birds to get together. So what's going to be happening there? Uh, it's a big, it's a two-day two event, and um, uh, we have speakers. We have six speakers coming from all over the world to talk about animal behavior, conservation, nutrition, uh, pretty well everything you ever wanted. And um, it's a great way for the experienced parrot owner to come and um, learn about what it is to have a parrot in your home, and also for new people that are considering, you know, maybe they're kind of cool, maybe I want one in my home. We have an introduction to parrots, um, which people can come to learn the realities of living with a parrot. Um, they're not quite as easy as they look sometimes. Well, yeah. <laughs> Why don't you talk about that for us, Connie, the, the, some of the realities of dealing or having a parrot as a pet. I mean, maybe not as easy as it may seem? Not quite as easy, no. Okay. Um, people have said it's equivalent to having about three dogs. I think it's equivalent to having a permanent incontinent three-year-old with ADHD and an X-Acto knife. That sounds like quite the challenge. Yeah, but they're okay. a lot of fun. <laughs> a lot right. of work, but a lot of fun too. Okay, and uh, Harry here, for instance, uh, how old is Harry? Uh, Harry will be eight uh, in the, just at the beginning of the right. new year. Mm -hmm. And how old would, because I heard they live quite like the lo a long lifetime. A human lifespan, basically. So Harry would healthy. live up to... 70, 80 years. Wow, maybe, so that's healthy. a lot of care. Mm -hmm. You have to make sure you've got someone to care for him we're, for a long period of time. We're getting the grandchildren interested. Well, I guess that would yes. be important. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of what these birds can do, I mean, many people, you know, the, the big attraction is the fact that they can talk. Some of them can. Oh, well, there you go. Right on cue. Uh, Thank you, Mercedes. Can we, can we try to get any of these to, to do that? or We can try, see if Mercedes... Okay. Are you a good girl? Are you a good girl? Mercedes. Mercedes, good girl. <laughs> Never when you want well, to. Cue. It's like, let's make the human look right. like the fool. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're very intelligent, aren't they? Where's my angel? Yes. Good girl, thank you. Now, looking at... Uh, this this one over here, right in front of you, um, forgot this, this one's Jivu. name. Jivu. Oh, Jivu. Yeah. Uh, only one wing on it. Uh, it's it's a rescue, I guess? Or Yeah, he came to us. Um, it just goes to show some people, uh, because the parrots live a long time, you need to keep them, to plan for them, uh, for when you move on to your next life. And somebody left him to the family. They didn't want the bird. They injured the bird. And uh, basically, we had to amputate the wing to save his life. And then he came to live with us. Oh, he looks and, to be doing uh, but well. he's doing well and he's get, earning his trust again, so it, it takes a while. Well, power numbers, uh, one of the things I was looking at in terms of your event uh, happening in November, yeah. uh, pennies for parrots. That's something that yeah. you've already uh, donated some money to, I guess, mm -hmm. to save some of, the, yep. some of these parrots that aren't taken care of properly. Quickly, Connie, if you can just tell me about what that's about. Well, we have uh, various parrot clubs across the country and they have a competition, one club among, uh, against others to try to raise the most money, uh, which will be designated every year for another parrot club conservation um, uh, cause and it's going to a macaw project this year isn't it Susan <laughs> it's going to the military parrots international military macaw project in uh, Mexico and uh, the, the six clubs we have um, uh, raised three thousand and one hundred dollars and that's just loose change it's wow. amazing how it adds mm -hmm. up well, coffee money yeah congratulations good yeah, for you good. and good yeah. luck with the uh, conference uh, in November thank you okay. thanks very much and great to meet all the birds <laughs> if you would like more information you can find a link on our website at swo.ctv.ca and click on links and numbers ahead in sports Waterloo and Guelph meet in the OUA rugby playoffs Randy has sports after the break